Because my art to me is not a product. My art is not business. My art is and has always been a medium of expression. And if that expression is hindered by business, then what is the point of my art at all? All right. So, um, hi there. I know it's uh, been a long while. And this channel has, hasn't uploaded the video in like a month and a couple weeks. Somewhere along those lines. But nonetheless, for a very long time. <laughs> in terms of YouTube standards, I guess. So, uh, where have I been? That is uh, the big question for someone who disappeared for like a month or so. I've, uh, I've been experiencing what you call life. I've been experiencing life, and ironically, when I quit my job, the problems didn't disappear because new pro sorry, the problems did disappear, but new problems uh, came around as well. So by quitting my job, I uh, it took down my stress and everything. It's like I did, I did have to like deal with like lingering stress for a while, but it disappeared. But then a new form of stress came about in the, you know, application of medical school. Because uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Because uh, it's been a year and my uh, YouTube channel hasn't done anything. My art hasn't accomplished anything that will <laughs> be financially stable. So I'm uh, proceeding to school again. But then again, you know, I have a job. Why, why don't you just continue with the job and just do YouTube on the side until, you know, it gets financially good? The thing is that uh, the job I'm able to do right now is, is not so great. The salary can barely support a single person, i.e. me. And I'm not planning to be single for the rest of my life. Let's just say that as, as hopeless... As my situation may be, I don't plan to be alone for the rest of my life. So uh, going to med school, since I did take medical technology before, and it was like, okay, this is a good path to take. Well, good in the sense that it will provide me uh, a better life. It may not be, you know, I may not be like a professional artist anymore. I may not live my life as a professional artist by doing this, but... I'll be able to, you know, provide for myself and for a partner uh, in, you know, in the future while also, be able to f while also being able to fund my art so that, here's the thing, like, if, if that happens, I work as a doctor or, you know, whatever happens, I, I still have a job, right? No matter what, even if I, something bad happens in medical school, I'll still have a job to fall back on. And whatever the case may be, job is job. There's a job outside of art. And so long as I have, a, I have a job outside of art, I don't have to work as an artist in order to make the art I want to make. So, in a sense, by having a job, you are not, your art is not chained to do by the will of others. But you can make the art that you actually want to make because your, you know, your job is funding it. And, you know, that's kind of the mentality I've uh, come across to take. Because my art to me is not a product. My art is not business. My art is and has always been a medium of expression. And if that expression is hindered by business, and what is the point of my art at all? Okay, I've been rambling a little bit. Let me <laughs> refer back to the notes. So yeah, uh, where I've been, I've been uh, dealing with life, yes. Uh, reducing my stress. <laughs> I've been trying to reduce my stress, and I've been doing that for a very long time. And again, as you, as you could predict, art plays a very heavy role in that. Art has played a big role in basically being my form of meditation has reduced my strength reduced my anxiety it's both it's both an escape but at the same time uh, a medium to deal with life 
because it's you know it's not just mere escapism but it's interacting with life because it's you know, it's right there you're doing something <laughs> you're doing something and you're not just mindlessly watching movies or playing video games you're actually doing something that creates something as a byproduct and you know, that's art and again an expression an expression of your of yourself basically all right Ah, and uh, one last thing for where I've been. In fairness to me, I did put in my description that I was, you know, f focusing on the comic, of which I have been focusing on my comic. So that's uh, that's uh, one win for me. There's the one thing I did, and that is become consistent with my comic. And for the past few months, I have been consistently uploading, and I think it's two, three months going in, I've been very consistent. And, uh... That's a one little win for me. And on the good news, I'm almost finished with it. It's gonna finish uploading in August, but I'll be finishing the pages by early July. Oh, sorry, not finishing in August, no, finishing around November. So that, you know, it's well-paced rather than I just show you everything and your mind gets boggled. <laughs> but yeah, my comics has been consistent, so that's great. Now. The second point, the, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm watching my notes because I don't want to ramble for too long. You, you saw a bit of that. So the state of the channel, the channel, you know, I, I gave myself one year and it didn't work out. I did have like one viral video, which was, which was this, the, the drawing arc. That was nice. But the problem with that is that Although that video became viral, viral at, that, at that point, in like a few days, it got like thousands of views. The problem with that is, the rest of my videos, only a few are of close or the same quality to it. That was the first of my good videos. So yeah, the problem with that is, it got viral, but then the people who got there didn't have much other content to like stick to so yeah it was a it was my 15 seconds of fame <laughs> basically fortunate unfortunate yeah it would have been better if i got well i wouldn't call it again viral in respect to my channel <laughs> like 10,000 views is not viral let me uh, correct that it's not viral in the sense of the whole but in respect to my channel i only get like maybe 50 views from time to time uh, maybe this will have like zero views it's been a month now <laughs> but yeah it's viral in respect to the channel it's my first big hit unfortunately i don't have other hits for them to like you know latch on to but i am grateful for you know the 300 of you who are like still here <laughs> in another note you know this is gonna take a long a longer time and that's okay and it may not even happen at all. I may not become like a, a famous YouTuber. And that's something I will have to accept that even if I do try, and which I will try, I may not get there. And, you know, that's, that's fine. You know, I might as well, you know, get good at this and, you know, not get famous rather than get suddenly famous, but I don't have anything to like back it up. So yeah, substance over quantity, <laughs> something like that. And after all, you know, this channel has, pro has been my open diary. You know, it's taken a lot of stuff out of my chest. It's, you know, taken a heavy, it has vanquished a heavy weight on my chest basically <laughs> i don't know the the full uh, quote but it has vanquished a heavy weight on my chest like i was able to tell my story of my treehouse of how i felt about digital art my my drawing arc my watercolor journey i was able to to finally get that story out into the world even if some of some of those videos especially my my watercolor journey video didn't it was only like a hundred or so people found it. And that's fine. The important thing is I got it out of my chest and at the same time I presented it with, you know, with respect to what I experienced. Now, 
uh, this thing you're seeing right here, I'm going to be doing this for a while because, you know, I'm, again, I'm focusing my, my attention on other things. The comic, specifically the comic, I am, <laughs> I am focusing my attention on that. So yeah, so you're, I'm going to be just, there's a lot of chickens here. So I'm going to be focusing on my comic for now. And as for the YouTube channel, I'm going to be also focusing on YouTube. I just want to focus on two things. I don't want to ramble with... I don't want to keep posting on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter. Because, like, I'm tired of so many... Of handling so many other social medias. I'm so tired of handling so many social medias that I just want to focus on one. And I'm just going to do YouTube. I'm going to post my art on YouTube because there's like a community post now. Like, I can just put my art there. I'll, uh, I don't know about shorts. I don't understand shorts. <laughs> How do I post the shorts? It's like, eh. But I'll find a way. Again, I'm going to focus on YouTube because YouTube has everything. YouTube can post pictures long-form videos, short-form videos, it has built-in everything. So why not just focus on this one social media, rather than spread my spread myself thin with the other social medias? Now, now, on the other hand, you know, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. However, I've already put in a bunch of eggs in a bunch of different baskets. So while I focus on YouTube and my comic right now, if YouTube does fail, you know, where most of my eggs are in, at least there's still some other eggs in other baskets. As that, as much as that analogy will make sense. <laughs> That's the state of the channel right now. That's uh, where I've been. And I'm gonna be making videos like this where I just, where I just talk. I'm just a talking head. And, you know, like actually focus on the art and not the, the videos. Focus on the art, not the videos. But that's counterintuitive. How can how could that be? If I focus on, on the art and not the videos, well, my, my YouTube channel is not going to be great. However, I will uh, contradict that statement with simple but consistent. I'm going to keep making simple videos, but consistent videos. Because if I keep the video simple, it's much easier to make them consistent. At the same time, it doesn't take, take too much time. And since it doesn't take too much time, I can give more focus to my art, which makes my comics and everything, because my art is the focus. YouTube is just a platform to like showcase that or to share that. I'll, uh, I'll try to get better with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work within this limit, this limit of just me talking. I'm just gonna end it here. Whoever finds this, or you're one of my 300 who has, like, reached this part, gratitudes. Thank you for, like, sticking around. I, I cannot properly express my gratitudes with whoever is, like, watching this and whoever takes heed to this. You know, even if it's just, you know, one of you, five of you, hopefully ten of you. <laughs> yes, that's a number that's comfortable to me, but just even one of you who's sticking around, I will try to do better. And uh, yes, I'm not dead. It's just that I'm uh, dealing with things right now more than I expected. And yeah, that's the thing with life. You know, It's like unexpected things happen and I have to deal with it. And I believe this is a testament that, you know, I'm still going on. Well, many things are stopping me, but by virtue of making this video, even though it's, you know, not very artistic, it's too simple, it's just direct, I have proven to myself that I'm not stopping. And whatever you're doing as well, do not stop as well. If it means so much to you, don't, do not stop. I will be pointing at you to give you accountability. This finger, whoever you are, I'm gonna give myself accountability and you accountability for the things that you want to do and that mean a lot to you, i.e. for me, 
my art and uh, whatever I'm doing right now. And for you, whatever you might be doing right now, which might be similar to my situation. <laughs> oh God, I'm rambling. Anyways, thank you for your time. And no matter what happens, whether you succeed or failed, no one can ever judge you for not having tried. And that's about it. Goodbye.